Hi, this is Mark from the ATV guys and today I'm here to show you my uh, pet project, my pet CF Moto project for 2023, which is the 2023 Z950 Sport G2. Why G2? Well, G2 is for second generation. It's not an official term. It's a term that uh, ATV guys, uh, ATV people just gave it because it's a second generation of their sport touring lineup, which this one replaces the Z Force 1000 and the Z Force 800 uh, for 2023. The cool thing is that there's two trims of this. There's the trail one, which is 50, 50 odd inches wide. And there's this one that is 60 inches wide. This one interested me a lot because I wanted to, to have a, a, a good sport touring trail route. Because I, 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 I do a lot, you know, long travel or long touring days uh, in the Quebec Federated Trail System. And I want something comfy. Now, I already have a Can-Am uh, Commander, 23, uh, 2023 Can-Am Commander that I'm driving around. That one has the 700cc single cylinder. This one has the uh, 963cc V-twin that we all know, but there's a lot of stuff that was changed inside that engine. Uh, CF Moto doesn't give all the specs, but I found out through dealers and training and all this stuff, uh, their training materials, that uh, a lot of the engine internals have, have been replaced. Uh, are they working for a 100 plus horsepower power plant? I think that's where we're going. But in this touring rig, the way the handle, the, the engine behaves, uh, it's a little torque monster. There's a lot of torque down low and mid range. Uh, it still goes, it still goes up top, but in the mid-range where if you're riding trails all day long, this is what you want. You want mid-range mid power and this machine excels at it. Just wanted to show you in the back, the exhaust system is pretty weird. <clears throat> it's a kind of a nod to another manufacturer, but the, 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 center, the exhaust is central. For those uh, you know who know that who know their ATVs and UTVs, you know what I you know what I'm hinting at. But uh, one thing I like is this uh, this exhaust is a full uh, full stainless stainless steel and it's very quiet. So there's no droning in the cab, uh, vibrations and stuff like that. They're, they're, they worked a lot on that, and the power plant for me is the most important thing out of any machine. And I like this power plant the way it is. Now, if you want to see more details about the inside and all this stuff, we got another video that we're going to link in the description uh, about the Z950 trail. So that's going to cover all the inside and stuff like that. Uh, the cab is extremely comfortable. Love them doors. These, these doors are different on the Z950 Sport. They're a little bit uh, angled out and that's a door. No physimid jigs that you have to install. It, it is a full half door. There's no other components required and they always open and close like this. Yeah, <laughs> they're that good. <clears throat> uh, what I like also uh, in this, there's a lot of storage inside, storage, uh, storage, uh, uh, storage, room for storage inside and there's uh, the switches and all this stuff. But like I said, all these details are covered uh, inside the other video. So that one, I don't want to, you know, like go over stuff. Now this one is my, my, my project, so I've added some uh, OEM and I got to say <clears throat> the OEM accessories, any manufacturers that, uh, that any manufacturer that is going to sell OEM accessories, these things got to fit right the first time. And every single accessory I've, I've added to this unit fit just the way you know, all the bolts line up and all this stuff. It's very important for me. So it fits great. I added this front bumper, which I think looks really, really nice. I have also added the rock sliders or tree kickers, which gives you protection on the lower extremity of the machine. This is a must have accessory. These are the OEM fender extenders. If you don't have those and you ride mud or water or stuff like that, you're going to get wet. 
You're going to get mud all over the place. These work like a charm. I've been driving this thing for a while and uh, this is probably the best accessory. If you're looking, you only want one, you, you get that one. I have the full, the full size windshield. I'm getting a half size. I, I, for summer, I like to have a half windshield, but it's very, very, very nice. Uh, I have the back windshield here, but I removed it. It's over there in the shop. Uh, and look, the profile cage. There's a kit that's going to be offered very soon to close up the cab for winter driving. And there are provisions inside the dash for, uh, for heat, heating ducts in the center at the bottom there. And also at the bottom of the, that's right there, is the, uh, the window defroster. So as soon as that accessory is going to be available, I, I'm hoping that CF, Canada, CF Moto Canada will give me a kit so I install it in there and uh, see how it works. I would love to see this because, like I said, out east, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, we all have winter grown trails and it's, it's nice and fun. It's fun to be able to ride uh, without uh, freezing your butt off. <laughs> really, really cool. I also added these wheels and tires. These wheels and tires are from my tire company which is Traction Off-Road, the only tire Can Canadian uh, designer and manufacturer of tires. And these are my X X6 wheels. So I, I, I hopped it up to 30 inches. This, it, it clears everywhere. Uh, this is probably the biggest tire you're gonna wanna put in there. You're missing a little bit of power. And there's something hidden on my, over there. <laughs> shh, 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 don't show it, don't show it. Uh, we, got, we got something from, uh, what's the company again? Let's, let's find out what the name of the company again. <clears throat> There's something that we got for a company that's called Stingray Mods. Uh, we're going to be doing some clutch work on this thing just to try and uh, get it to match these tires. Uh, this is the biggest tire you can put with the stock clutching, but you feel it. Uh, these tires are heavy duty, so they're pretty, you know, they're not that they, they, they don't weigh that much, but still you can, you can feel it because you change, you change the, the, the end gearing because you get a bigger tire. We're three, inch, three inches over from stock. The stock tires are right here. This is a new tire that I found that uh, comes from CF Moto. The wheels, are, the wheels look great. I like the tread and it's a soft enough compound to be able to, uh, to drive in winter uh, without having to, uh, to stud tires. If you need, you know, if you ride winter trails, uh, I make a tire which is called the Glacius that is studdable and made for winter. That's another thing. Uh, what the highlights of this machine is under, the underpinnings. Give me a second, I'm just going to raise it off the ground. Now, why am I so excited about showing you the underpinnings of a UTV? It's because CF Moto finally got it right in my view, in my opinion, the suspension. This is the first UTV that I get from CF Moto that I don't want to change the, the, the settings. I, it's the chalk is adjustable here. We'll show you the rear ones. Uh, but this is the best suspension setup that was ever put on a CF Moto UTV. It is great. It finally can play in the same sandbox as its competitors. And the competitors, there's not many of them out there right now in the market. There's the Can-Am Maverick Sport and there's the S-Series uh, from Polaris, the 60-inch. So, like, there's three players in, the, in, that, in that field. All the other players kind of left the market, like they used to be Arctic Cat, they don't make a machine anymore. This, an entry level, 60-inch, this is, this is where it's at. And the thing is, really cool. What's really, really cool is that it's, uh, it's not too expensive. Any, any of these things are expensive these days, but this is 21,800 bucks. For all you get, with all the inclusions and stuff like that, uh, it's, it's a serious offering from CF Moto Canada. Plus you get the five year warranty, powertrain warranty, and one year full with unlimited kilometers. So, you know, a, a nice package. I like, I like these a lot. A lot. This is probably the best they ever made uh, as a touring rig that you can go with your friend, your wife, and all this stuff. In comfort, great seats, great handling. I love the handling either with my tires or the stock tires. The handling is very, very, very good. It's a nice and stout machine. 
Everything is accessible out back if you have to work on the clutch like I'm going to do. Very accessible clutch cover right there. Five minutes, you're up and you, you have your clutch in your hands. Uh, again, uh, the shocks here, like you can see a little bit more clearly. There's one adjustment only. It looks a little bit like the Fox QS3 that are on certain Can-Am products. So uh, uh, compression and damping is one, one button only. Uh, what, what's here is the intake for the CVT. On the other side, same thing, the intake for the engine. And it's got, uh, it's got frog skins on it. So no debris, less dust. And uh, you know, the, the less dust that goes in there, the less crap that goes in those, the, in those to the air box, the better it is. And there's lots of flow. So all this package for 21,800, 21,799 is a very, very decent package. It's built well. The A-arms are reinforced. Uh, st stout, better weld quality, better finishing quality, and every single panel fit and finish is near perfect. It's not perfect, it's just near perfect. Haven't seen a perfect machine. The only one I saw that I couldn't find anything on is on the $30,000 Honda, uh, the Honda Talon, which is awesome, but it's like almost 10 grand more. So that's what you get. But this this, ladies and gentlemen, take the time, go to your dealer, find out. Some dealers do demo rides. They have a demo unit that you can try. It's worth your time just to go out. If you're in the market for a touring rig, go and take a look at this machine. Give it a, give it a try. If you like it, buy it. If you don't, don't. But in my book, this is a very good machine. And I'm going to ride it. Don't forget, give me the thumbs up if you like what we do. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or the, the Facebook page where you see this content on. I'm Mark, behind that camera is Jason, and we are the ATV guys. And yeah, I'm going right. Here.